Offer the sacrifice of praise. Offer the sacrifice of praise. Offer the sacrifice of praise to God. I will offer the sacrifice of praise. Offer the sacrifice of praise. Offer the sacrifice of praise to God. The food of my lips giving thanks. fruit of our lips, giving praise and thanks to the Lord, praising and worshiping and singing songs of adoration to Almighty God. And the song that we were just singing was about worshiping God, was about giving thanks to the Lord. It says in the book of Hebrews that we are to give God the fruit of our lips, giving praise to Him. The fruit of our lips means the words that come out of our mouth needs to be always giving praise and thanks to the Lord for all the good things He has done for us. That's right. And you know, I think people really appreciate, you know, when you say thank you or, you know, I, I really appreciate what you've given me. And I think that's the same attitude that we need to have towards God is, Lord, I'm just so thankful for all that you've done for me. Yes. And we welcome you to another program of Just Like Him. I'm Shama, and this is my sister Shalom. And we believe that God's Word is going to encourage you and bless you this day. Amen. So let's go into the scriptures today. We're talking about Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is something that is really, really important as a child of God, is having an attitude of, you know, always thanking the Lord for what He's done for you and what He's mm -hmm. going to do. Because, you know, I think sometimes we limit Thanksgiving to, well, before a meal or Maybe if we're in church and we're singing songs and things like that, we say, okay, God, I just want to thank you for all you've done. Or, you know, sometimes before we eat food, you know, we yeah. just say, you know, thank you for this meal. But I think it should be more than that. We should have an attitude and a response of thanksgiving to the yeah. Lord. Because really in fact, important. Jesus has done so much for us and He died on the cross and He took away our sin mm. and He gave us a new life. So that itself, you know, we can thank God every day for that. Yeah. That's really, really important. And you know, one thing I've noticed is that sometimes, you know, we think that our prayers to the Lord should be like, okay, God, you know, well, today I'm coming, today it was really bad, and I just ask you to help me, and you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sometimes we have this attitude towards God is that we always need to come with our problems. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think like, like we were saying, you know, like people, when you talk to people and you say, no, like when you get something, you get a gift or something, immediately the first response is thank, thank you, you, an attitude. Yeah. And you know, the first response that we ought to have towards God is, Lord, I'm just so thankful for what you've done for me. It's a way yeah. of showing your appreciation to the Lord for all that He has done. That's right. And all the good things that He yeah. has given us. That's right. He has blessed us with so many good things and just saying thank you is a way, you know, you can do it any time of the day. When you wake up in the morning, when you work, or when you're, um, before you go to bed, you can just say, Lord, I want to thank you and yeah. praise you. It's just so simple. And it doesn't just need to be limited to a prayer, to a prayer life, because actually thanking God every day is sort of praying and yeah. worshiping God. That's right. Yeah. And you know, that's the response that we ought to have towards God when we come before Him is to say, Lord, I'm just so thankful for what you've done. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, um, you know, we don't know how to begin a prayer, but I think when you read the scriptures, one of the greatest things you can see, especially Psalms, is when, when David comes before the Lord, he always says, you know, Lord, I just want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for what you're doing for me. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's such a good thing to give thanks to the Lord yeah. for his mercy endures forever. Yeah. It's, it's an attitude that we ought to have. And, you know, um, 
maybe you're asking the question, well, why should I, or why should I thank God? Why, why can't I just, you know, keep it at the church or, you know, keep it before I have a meal or something? You know, that's actually, that's not the way we ought to respond to God. God is such a good God. One of the reasons He deserves our thanksgiving and praise is because He is so good. Mm -hmm. He is worthy of all praise and all glory. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you see the scripture in James, I just want to show you this scripture. It's so beautiful. This is in James 1, 17. What, what do we mean by having an attitude of thanksgiving? And like, you might ask, why, why are you saying, well, why can't you just keep it? Uh, why does it have to be only, you know, all the time? Why do I have to, you know, keep thanking the Lord all the time? Why can't I just keep it before a meal or at church? Well, if you see, one of the things about God is that God desires to be a friend and He desires to have a close relationship with you. Mm. So when you have this attitude of thanksgiving and you know God as a friend, it's just going to change your whole perspective of God. Yeah. This is what James 1.17 says about God. James 1.17 says, Every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And I just want to you know, point out that part where it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. Mm. See, God doesn't have anything bad to give you. He's only a good God. It just says good and perfect gift. Yeah. You notice in that part, it's yeah. so beautiful. And it says it comes, yeah. not that it just came and finished. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of life. And that means even the gifts that we are constantly receiving on a daily basis. I mean, just think of your healing. And um, maybe you are struggling in your body with sickness and disease. You know, Jesus has already paid the price mm. to purchase your healing. And He bore your sicknesses and your diseases on His body so that you can be free <clears throat> from pain and sickness. And so when you receive uh, the gift of healing that God has already made available for you, it's like it's a gift that's coming from mm. down from the Father of life. Yeah, that's really important. Mm. And, you know, when you begin to see Thanksgiving actually can be something that we can use to begin our prayers. Yeah. That will just change the whole perspective of how we see God and how we see Him. And like we said earlier, you know, God is a friend. And when you approach a friend, you know, you approach them with, you don't approach them very, I would say very, um, you know, in kind of stiff, that kind of yeah. attitude. You usually would come to a friend and you would immediately say, oh, hey, how are you doing? It's, it's just so good to meet you. And maybe it's a friend you're seeing after years. Well, that's the same attitude that you can have towards God, mm. is seeing God as a friend. And yeah. when you approach Him, you can say, Oh God, you're such a good God. I just want to thank you. Mm. you know, sometimes, you know, in the, in the morning when we wake up, you know, you're just waking up and, you know, it's still, you know, your muscles are still, you know, still out waking of, up. Yeah, waking up, that kind of attitude. Yeah. And, you know, at that time you might say, Okay, now I've, I've brushed my teeth. I've you know, had my coffee. So how do I start reading my Bible? How, I don't know where to go to. And you know, you don't have to think like that anymore. Mm. You can just say, okay, God, it's such a beautiful day. You might just be having your Bible in your hand like this and you might say, okay, God, you know, I thank you for your word. Your word is just so wonderful. You're such yeah. a good God. I just want to thank you that, you know, there's another day that I can be alive and well and enjoy. Yeah. You know, when you have that attitude towards God, you won't just say, okay, now I got to read my Bible. I got to pray. I got to do this, you know, whole kind mm. of um, mentality where it's just, you know, stuck to uh, a method or a system or something. In fact, fellowship with God becomes more and more easy. Yeah. It becomes more and more easy to have a relationship and fellowship with God when we start off our day or our prayer time, if you call it that, with thanksgiving. Yeah. You can just say things like, Lord, I thank you that you are worthy of all praise. And I wrote some things here. I thank you, Lord, that you are my creator. I thank you for salvation. I thank you that you died for me yeah. on the cross. I thank you that you paid the price for my sin. And I thank you uh, that you made me a new creature in Christ Jesus and you brought me near to God. Mm. There's so much that we can just yeah. start off our prayers and That's thankfulness right. prayers with. That's a really good way to actually approach God is with thanksgiving. You're just saying, Lord, I just want to thank mm. you for this day. And I want to thank you for what you're going to do today. I thank you, like you were saying, I thank you that I'm a new creation in Christ. And maybe, you know, you can thank God for the victories. You know, that's how we ought to see God, not limit Him only in church or, like we said, just thanking God for the meal or something. Mm -hmm. You can always thank God at any time of the day. Yeah. And 
let me show you some scriptures. Maybe, um, maybe you're saying, well, well, how do I, how do I have an attitude of thanksgiving? I've never seen God as a friend, and I've always seen Him up there with a, just as a somebody who's far away, and you know, He's He's not involved in you know anything. He just you know does a little bit you know in this world. Mm. But I've never seen God. I had never known that God can be a friend, somebody mm. that I can have a cl close relationship with. Right. And you know, you might have believed that lie, but you know that's not true. The truth is that you can know God personally as a friend. Amen. And and you see, like I'll just take you to a few scriptures. We're not going to read them. But I'll just refer them. You know, Psalm 105, uh, one says. Now this was written by um, David, and if you look at the life of David, David was a man who knew God's heart. He knew God personally. Mm. I mean, when you see the Psalms, you see how he approaches God. He just comes to God as a friend yeah. and with so much of, um, you know, love towards God. That's why God calls David as a, a man after his heart mm. because David was so, so close to God. Yeah. Just see how David, you know, the way he, he um, you know, brought his thanksgiving to the Lord. It says in Psalm 105 verse 1, David says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the people. And then another psalm, Psalm 107 verse 1, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Amen. Just another one, Psalm 34, 3, Oh, magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt His name together. Yeah. Did you notice that David doesn't come to God and say, well, God, now I it's don't know. It's another boring yeah, day. It's another boring day. I don't know what to do. You know, I guess, you know, things are going to just get from bad to worse. Yeah. He just comes to God and says, Lord, I just want to thank you because you are good. Mm. He just says, Lord, you are so good. So I want to thank you. Yeah. That's like the scripture we were reading in James. When James was saying every good gift and every perfect gift yeah. comes from God. You know, one of the ways you can start thanking the Lord is saying, Lord, I just want to thank you because you're so good. Mm, and that's why we have even received this Bible into our mm. hands to know the goodness of God, yeah. to see how faithful He is, that's right. how every day He can just, you know, minister grace to you. I'm so thankful that the mercy of God never runs yeah. out, that He is always there to forgive us and to love us and to show us mercy and kindness. Yeah. So Jesus is a friend that you can trust. And be it whatever situation that you are in, maybe you need help in something that you are facing. You run to the Lord and you say, Lord, I thank you that you are my helper. Maybe it's healing that you desire in your body and you may be going through sickness and disease. Say, come to the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you that you are my healer. You promise that you are my healer and that you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, my healer. And so I receive your healing into my life. And I thank you that you are my provider. Things mm. like that you can come before the Lord and thank Him for. Yeah, that's right. And maybe you've never known that Jesus can be a friend um, in your life. And you've never known that He wants to have a personal relationship with you. And one of the best ways, you know, and the only way that you can know Him is to receive Him into your heart. That's what He wants to do. He wants to come into your life and mm. be a part of everything that you do. And you know, the, it's not very, it's not difficult at all to, you know, have Jesus in your life. All you got to do is pray, a very simple prayer. Yeah. And you can say something like this: You can say, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm really hurting right now. I'm, I'm, fa I've faced rejection and I've faced loneliness, but I've, I've just heard that you can be my friend. So I'm asking you to become my friend. And I also want you to be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And come into my life, come into my heart, change my heart. And I ask you to forgive me of all the wrong things that I've done. Mm -hmm. And I ask you to come and fill me with your power and fill my life. And, you know, Jesus, when you pray a simple prayer like that, he will come in and he will change your life forever. Yes. And that's something that he wants to do in everybody's life. Yeah. So, you know, we've been talking about Thanksgiving and how you can have an attitude of Thanksgiving all the time, not just, you know, when you, when you have a meal or when you're in church and singing songs, you can have this attitude always before the Lord. Mm. You can come and say, Father, I just thank you that you're a good God. Your mercy endures forever. Talking to God as a friend, that will just change your whole perspective. It will. Yeah. And knowing that Jesus is somebody who wants to do good things in your life. 
he doesn't want to do bad you know maybe you've heard the lie that god is the one who does bad things and sends bad things to people but that's not true you know the, the bible tells us that there is an enemy and the enemy he's the one who comes to steal kill and destroy he's the one who does all these bad things mm -hmm. but god he is different he's not at all like the enemy the bible says that god he's a good father and he's somebody who his his attitude towards people is i want to do good for them you know when he made man in the beginning he just he said when he looked at man he said man this is very good he looked at man and just said yeah. you're very good yeah. more than all the other creatures and all everything else he just said man is so good and that's the way god is looking at you today so today you can believe that jesus wants to be your friend and he is somebody who will stick with you no matter what comes your way and just like we prayed the prayer earlier you know when you say that prayer you can believe that he is going to live in your heart and so we encourage you to tune in next week also for another program of just like him as we continue on thanksgiving